The Duchess of Sussex has unveiled her children's book The Bench, which is about the relationship between a father and son seen through the eyes of the mother. The book, which is unsurprisingly inspired by Prince Harry's relationship with their son Archie, has met some criticism, including Meghan's choice to include her title in large lettering on the front. Meghan has also been challenged for the theme of the book, considering she is now estranged from her own father Thomas Markle and the comments Harry has made about Prince Charles. On the other hand, others have argued the book is simply a sweet story for children and that no one is obliged to buy it. One royal commentator noted how Meghan is enjoying how the doors open for you in the role she currently finds herself in, adding that the same cannot be said for every aspiring writer. Pod Save the Queen is hosted by Anne Gripper and features Daily Mirror Royal Editor Russell Myers. Moore's Gripper said, I guess I also thought about the number of people who are probably trying to write children's books and get themselves published and all that kind of thing and then once you're the Duchess of Sussex you can just get a book published basically if you want to. So I thought that was interesting so I sort of felt for those people. She added, It's great being a Duchess, the doors open for you. On the more positive side, Ms. Gripper did emphasize that Meghan's book featuring a non-white family was fantastic for representation. She quoted a statistic that revealed only a small percentage of children's books feature black, Asian or minority ethnic protagonists. She said, It reminded me of a couple of interviews I listened to when I was driving around at the weekend, one with Floella Benjamin, who was a children's presenter back when you and I were little, she used to present play school. I listened to her Desert Island Discs and she was talking about how she had been fighting for better representation on screen of non-white faces essentially from the 70s. And then there was another interview with another author who I hadn't heard of, a children's author called Humza Arshad, whose new book Little Bad Man and the Radioactive Samosa, which is a fantastic name for a book. I think the stat was something like only 1% of children's books when he was little had any non-white representation. So I think that's interesting and I'm sure that the representativeness and increasing that would be a good thing. An analysis in November revealed that only 5% of children's books featured a BAME main character, up from 4% in 2018 and a measly 1% in 2017. The reports from the Center for Literacy in Prime Education, CLPE, found that the number of books featuring any BAME characters was at just 10%, up from 7% in 2018 and 4% in 2017. This is compared to the 33.5% of primary school-aged children in England who are from a minority ethnic background. In this way, Meghan's book will help to improve representation for children from these backgrounds. Meghan's book has already proven to be very popular, reportedly selling out on Amazon. The announcement has coincided with the release of Hold Still from Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, which is raising funds for the Mind and the National Portrait Gallery. It features photographs and stories related to the coronavirus pandemic. Hold Still was branded a triumph by royal expert Russell Myers, and has also sold many copies, raising a huge amount of money for the organizations involved.